Exclamation, everybody, and uh, welcome back to Soul Zero, uh, episode 61, I believe it is. Um, and we're back here at my struggling, my struggling little colony here. Um, I've noticed, uh, actually, just as soon as I loaded up the, the game here, a colonist died due to low oxygen. I noticed in this little area here um, that there's so much foot traffic going through here that the oxygen level keeps dropping down to sometimes dangerous levels. Um, so I, I think I need to mitigate that at some at some level here. I have this closed off, so I want to uh, I want to destroy this uh, this uh, you know hydroponics area, whatever it's called. <laughs> I always, I always want to call it hydroponics area. I, I, I always forget the name of it. Uh, and we're going to do our little mitigation that we did on the other side. Uh, although, I don't think it's going to work this time because of the space here. I might not be enough space for it. Um, let's, let's see what we can do here. Let's see. Build a uh, oxygen generator right here. I have a feeling it's not going to let me. No. I didn't think so. All right, so let's do a let's build another hallway right here. And this uh, we we'll probably have to do one more above that. It's not really going to work quite so well though because it's going to be it's going to have to travel all three down this way. Um, so I don't think that's going to do me quite the way that I want it to do. Um, I can't put it that way. It has to be connected to the side. Uh, yeah, that's not going to work out so well. <laughs> um, I mean, there's an oxygen oxygen generator right here. So you would think that that would be enough. Um, but it does not, it does not appear to be. Um, let's see what we got here. This one has oxygen going right into it. Is this not? No, that door is open. So, yeah, I don't know. It's just, I guess because of, uh, who knows? I, I don't know. I just, I, I think there's just so much foot traffic there that the, uh, it's, it's just using up all the oxygen. Um, so, on the one hand, I could put another one here and then open this area up just so that the foot traffic has somewhere to go. So, maybe I'll do that and just try to, like, <laughs> try to, uh, to jinx the game, or, 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 or not jinx the game, but, uh, Try to try to fake out the game a little bit. Yeah, that dust devil is okay. We'll see what happens. Uh, at least it'll give them more room to walk around. I'm gonna have all these like offshoots coming off my coming off my builds here. Uh, all right, uh, that rock there. If I can get him, if I can get this rock out of the way. I think I should be able to put something here. We'll see in a moment. Push that out of the way. Push it up here with the rest of the rocks. There we go. And you come back over here. And then, my astronauts, please try to put an oxygen generator right here. Yep, there we go. Well, I'll at least open these up. Uh, and I think it travels three. So we'll be good in that respect of the term. And then I should be able to... Uh, at least open this up and let foot traffic go through there, even though they go literally nowhere. <laughs> um, but it's it's something anyway. May help with the you know random do random colonists dying all over the place. And uh, I also have this area over here that I could expand out a little bit further from as well. So I want to keep uh, keep an eye on this stuff. So that one's got twenty percent now. So let's just open up the, these uh, these corridors here. Let that get some oxygen. And while that is happening, Copy. Over. we'll come over here. Uh, by the way, I have upgraded uh, to the latest uh, version, 0.52. The the selection boxes and stuff are fixed now, which is quite nice. I, I don't have it constantly switching back and forth to things or selecting things I didn't want it to select. Uh, and uh, the video problem I was having with recording uh, may be fixed. I haven't tried it yet. I guess we'll, we'll find out at the end of this <laughs> uh, if, I, if I'm if i making more 
videos than I or more segments of videos than than is need be. I won't know until I finish this recording. So we'll we'll see. We shall we shall see on that one. Uh, let's put a four way hallway here. What's my power doing? Okay, we're kind of okay with the power. Uh, I should put some more down as we go here. And uh, and I'm going to do my sort of donut block thing here where you've got the, you know, that one there. Also, food is, okay, food is okay. Uh, I, was, I was worried about that for a minute. Um, so we'll do the hallway right here. All right. And you put the oxygen generator there. And then down here will be the habitat. And that's what I was doing in the last in the last uh, um, colony, and that seems to be the most efficient way of most efficient use of, uh, of resources. I just wish I had I had started that way out, but it, it's very hard to start going that way because of just you know you, you got so many things you got to put down at once. Um, let's put a habitat right here, and then also uh, your astronaut remembers things better now. Which is good with the with the latest patch. Remembers to actually put things down when you say to do so. Uh, and uh, let's see. So we've got that working for us. We've got lots of ore coming in. Uh, we've got plenty of methane, so I should be able to refuel and launch this guy. I'm gonna have to get another another launch up here though, because I think we need 20 colonists in order to put the uh, monument down. So we'll have to do that much anyway. Um, and I want to... Oh, I need him to build the uh, oxygen generator right here. There we go. And so we have a little bit of expansion room. And then we'll get the... Uh, we'll get that up there. I've got... I also have to make the... Uh, I already did the launch of the... Um, Weather satellite, so that is done. So all we really need to do is get uh, is get the monument and declare our independence. Because we've got everything up here that we need right now, and then uh, we'll be able to Coffee. be able to move on to uh, try to uh, we'll, we'll we'll get as many colonists. I'll expand this out as far as I can go, um, but I think we'll pretty much be done at that point. There's not much else I can do. Uh, with this, once I've gotten the once I've gotten the uh, the colony pretty well expanded and ready to go, uh, it'll be a whole lot of me waiting around uh, for four Martian years, uh, which I'm not really going to do this time around. I, I did that last time around, and it was fine. It worked, um, but this time I just want to get the colony to that point, and then and then call it. Uh, I think uh, so. We've got this guy. Let's get the oxygen in here. Oxygen flowing that way. Very good. And then we've got uh, this spot here that needs some oxygen. Now this guy, uh, these guys all have oxygen. So let's open this up and let them walk through there. So this oxygen level is, should be relatively stable in there now. Very good. And then this one we can open up. Is this open here? No, that's not open to anybody. So let's open this up a little bit. And this guy should, well he's not open, uh, but I should be able to open that up and get some oxygen in there. And then uh, this is all open. Alright, very good. Let's go do a little bit of biology. Just a little bit. I uh, don't need too much here. But I want to get uh, these two strains. Let's see if we can make something, uh, make something cool and awesome. Uh, and we'll have to put a bunch more of that down, a bunch more farms down. But I, it, we're pretty much at the end of the of the colony here. I mean, the only thing from here on out is to expand out further um, and actually, you know, get a hundred colonists up here. Which, uh, like I said, not going to do this time around. I might uh, do it next time. We'll, we'll see. Um, we'll see what happens there. I think honestly, uh, what's going to happen is. I've pretty much at this point reached sort of the the well. We'll talk about this a little bit at, at the end of the at the end of the episode. But I I, I have uh, I have some plans 
let's put it that way and we'll see how this how this pans out with what, what's going on here unless there's some disaster that wipes out my whole colony here uh, so biology lab we got a 3.3 .3 out of it very good let's uh, combine these two and see if we get uh, something a little bit even better that will be good and uh, uh, I think this is open now right this has oxygen so I can open this up now that has oxygen this has oxygen and this is open this one is not open is this one open okay so it's just this one just this one section here which has oxygen in it it's just it's not open up for foot traffic so now we've got that open to foot traffic so they should be able to have a nice they should be able to stretch their legs now very good oh, man. Um, let's build a couple more geothermal plants up here because now I've got pretty much all the resources I need because I can just keep printing them here I don't really need uh, I don't need a ship for resources all I really need is a couple colonists um, and then I should be good to go there and what else uh, is this guy I think this guy's already level 2 I could upgrade the armor uh, but I oh I don't have a radar array to do that. That's right. Forgot about that. And I need to do. Let me put at least a radar array down because I think I need to get this guy at level two um, for the um, for the monument. I think possibly. Uh, I don't remember. I thought I did. No, he is upgraded to level two. The refinery is level two. It's uh, I should get some armor though because uh, that's the last part of the colony that really needs to be. You know, protect it. You need, you need to make sure your colonies are protected and everything else is going well there. So we've got that. Um, let's build, let's have him build that radar right now. And we'll get that going. Oh, I do need the terraforming project. That's the only other thing I need to top this off with, which requires 36 population. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I should go until I get to the terraforming project. That would be the proper way of doing it. But let's let's uh, let's roll with it and see what I get here. Uh, let's do the radar array. Just put it down here, out of the way. And uh, I think we can probably speed up time too, because we're we're doing okay with the food supplies and everything else. In fact, this guy here. Let's convert him to a refrigerator while we can uh, so we get our food supply uh, going as good as it can go as high as it can go because uh, once I start getting more and more colonists it's going to be uh, um, it's going to be uh, a race to keep all these farms going alright so where's my there you are so build a farm to kinda make up for the ones I just uh, no supplies are available um, Copy. Well, they are now. Build a farm right there. There we go. That's right, because that guy's automated. In fact, let me turn the automate off on this guy just so he, in case we get another solar storm. Uh, did the biology lab finish? I think it did. It's still 3.3. .3. All right. Well, we're, we got we got what we need out of it. I can probably trash these other two for now. All right, and let's go here. Let's put the uh, New 3.3 .3 guy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I keep forgetting that that will affect both. Uh, let's put that guy in there. And 4.2. This guy. Oh, I didn't put anything in here. Huh? Let's do that. And uh, that. And that. Very good, very good, very good. Soil quality. This one's increasing. That's increasing. All right, very good. I didn't realize I didn't put any uh, microbes in there. Or <laughs> that would have helped quite a bit to have that already going. So yeah, now we're making 10.5, and our we don't have enough colonists right now. It's complaining about, but I figured it would complain about that. So since we got that, let's convert all these over to refrigerators, so I can get as much storage as possible. There we go. And we're still making a good good amount there, and then I'll have that uh, have tons and tons of food for our for our burgeoning, bustling colonists. 
And unfortunately, we're going to get a Dust Devil right there. Just to destroy a thing that I just put down. Alright. Yeah, he it's, it's toying with me right now. Just totally toying with me, but it's going to destroy that thing that I just put down. Because <laughs> that's the way that's the way it's been going right now with this particular map. <laughs> uh, almost, almost. It's yeah. It's just it's it's playing with me. It's playing with me. Uh, <laughs> oh, I made it out of there in one piece. How about that? <laughs> uh, all right. So. By the way, also, uh, huge performance increase with the video right now. I am getting a solid 60 frames per second, although I'm only recording at 30. Uh, it's not, you know, up and down a little bit as, as there's colonists on here. Uh, because it's this, this the version has been upgraded to Pro, Unity Pro. Uh, the developer has been quite busy with that, and so everything is... Everything is is coming out uh, a lot better as far as performance goes, and he's got you know access to more tools, I assume, uh, with the Unity Pro license and so on and so forth. So very cool indeed. Everything everything is is coming out quite nicely. This game is still a heck of a lot of fun to play. Love playing the game. Uh, it's just uh, when you've been playing it as long as I have, <laughs> you've seen you've seen the world. And what and, and 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 you still enjoy it. It's just uh, uh, it's it is uh, the, the the end game is pretty well. You know, it, it's always been about having you know getting to a hundred colonists, right? And then you know the first hundred colonists on Mars. And once you've done that a couple times, it's you know you're pretty pretty confident in what you can do. Although, and I've had, I had all the unlocks at one point in time, I just, <laughs> I just, I fail so regularly that it's, <laughs> I have been unable to get like the, the luxury box suites for, uh, for my colonists and all that stuff unlocked. Um, Alright, you're going to have to automate now, I guess. So do your thing. Copy. Finish that guy up. Alright, and we, I think one more... One more colony ship should do it. So let's, uh, what can I get? I can get 28 now. Let's do a, that's not it. Let's do one more of these donut blocks, which I actually put this thing on the wrong side, didn't I? Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Oh yeah, no supplies are available. <laughs> let's, uh, let's speed up time a little bit. Yeah, I put that thing on the... I put the oxygen generator on the wrong side, but uh, whatever. It doesn't matter. It does not matter in one bit. Yeah, let's get a little speed up here. There we go. Uh, and let's do that build command again. Let's get the hallway right there. Yeah. Uh, let's get a hallway. Nope, that's not it. Let's get a hallway right over here. There we go. Alright, this guy should unautomate for now. And uh, I guess I could speed up again so we're not we're not sitting here forever okay. waiting for that. Uh, build. Four-way intersection right there. I guess these guys could uh, refuel and launch as well. Get them out of my way. Oh, that takes two, two, uh, two beds away from me, but uh, whatever. This is what it is. Yeah, seriously, dude, build build the... Oh, you know what? When this forklift is here, he gets all confused. Like, I can't do anything. It's, yeah. It's not really the case there. Uh, build a... Uh, the the, the four-way intersection right there. Okay. Yeah, you, you picked up a box. Okay, good. <laughs> I don't know, for some reason he's having some problems right there. With that particular orientation, I don't know what it is. Alright, there we go, we got that. And then we'll do our thing here. Straight hallway. Right there. Yeah, for some reason the astronaut's now clipping into, into that uh, pallet and is getting all confused for some reason. Uh, I don't know why that is. Because it was working, it was working a few minutes ago. 
Let me move this pallet, or forklift, I mean. Let me move the forklift out of the way here. Way over here. And see what happens. Oh, see if it's just that proximity that does it, or, or what. Our oxygen generator down here. Also, I could put another habitat right there, too. I'll put two more habitats in. This is this is how it works. Uh, let's... Yeah, no, no, he's not, he's not happy about that at all. All right. I don't know why. Maybe the 3D printer being on is causing that? I don't think so. Don't think so. Um, so we got that. So we'll have this guy go and fix this up. There we go. Come on over here. And then we'll build. Uh, there we go. Dust Devil Imminent. All right, let's build the habitats that we want here. Now let's move them out of the way first. Build a habitat right there. Okay, let's try that again. Yeah, for some reason, all of a sudden, it's like it's like uh, a timer goes off and they suddenly can't do anything. Maybe there's like a memory, uh, a memory um, like leak or something, or I don't know. Just over time, it's like that was working perfectly. A little while ago and now all of a sudden it's like nope nope you can't can't I don't it's not working <laughs> um, so I don't know what I don't know what happened uh, in memory to cause that or if it was even in memory that caused it but for some reason it's not happy um, population is too low yes I know this uh, and let's go here yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, oh, it's it's very unhappy now because I've I've hit the hit the limits here. All right, we'll put that down for the moment, uh, and then uh, let's just go and leave these unfinished and let's get the uh, let's get some more colonists up here before before the game rings my neck <laughs> about the about the colonists and we're just gonna take a colony ship. So this will be launch number eleven. So uh, I think eleven, right? Yeah. Now it might be 12 at this point. I'm not not quite sure, but we want to get uh, we want to fill this thing up with colonists as many as we can take, and uh, I'll see you guys back on the surface. All right, we're back on the surface, and we have the maximum number of colonists we can have right now. And I'm I'm sending my um, forklift to go and repair these things. Uh, unfortunately, he's going completely the wrong way to repair that. But yeah, yeah, this is not not going well. Let's see if I can see if I can slow that progression down a little bit, or not. <laughs> Come on, forklift, you can go. You can do that. You can do a better than better job than that. Come on. Um, yeah, yeah, we're losing all the colonists again. All the colonists I brought up are already, are already being lost here. So that's repaired. Let's go a little bit faster here. Let's repair this guy. And have him do his thing there. Very good. And that's okay. So unautomate that. And now, okay. So we we lost we lost quite a few there, but we still have the we, we don't need another launch because uh, I'm going to build the monument right now. I have enough people to do it. So let's just do it and let's build this thing. We'll build this monument on rock and roll. There we go. All right. So now let's uh, declare independence. So we don't need any more launches. And now my, my my folks will start to multiply. And I've got plenty of room for them to spread their wings now. Or should have plenty of room for them to spread their wings. That's open, and this is open. This one's not open yet, which is good. 
Don't want that open yet. This one is open. Let's open both sections of that. Oh, and let the oxygen flow through to both sides. We're at 44 now. Excellent. All right, and and the nice thing about this map is there's all this flat land over here, so we can we can expand this puppy out quite a bit if we wanted to. Um, I do want to once I get enough colonists, I want to make the uh, the terraforming project. And so what I'll what I'm going to do right now is let me let me cut away, and when I come back, we'll be ready to do all the terraforming and the final the final touches on uh, this colony. So I will see you guys in a moment okay everybody I'm back and as you can see my colony has had a rough a rough spell here I had I had plenty of colonists up here uh, quite quite a few um, but uh, just uh, a few minutes ago a meteor storm happened and uh, took out all three of these oxygen generators so I lost almost all my colony I'm down to 19 now <laughs> but I'm, I'm right here at the cusp of having a terraforming project as you can see there we go so we now have that so we are now we are now ter terraformed which is very very nice unfortunately that was enough of a building to push us over to the to the where it says we're, we don't have enough people now uh, where it's really really warning me about it um, unfortunately there's nothing I can do about that because I have declared independence <laughs> all I can do is and now and now we're gonna have all kinds of random disasters here uh, because of it and I can't uh, I can't control that because I can't get more colonists up here unfortunately so that is that is about that it's <laughs> it's gonna be one of those it's gonna be one of those fixer upper colonies I would say unfortunately yeah we're getting all the getting all the random events now uh, due to that and uh, yeah I, I can't <laughs> I can't get it to do more than uh, more than what it's already got there and they're not uh, the colonists that are remaining are not breeding as much as they should be so uh, that's that's about all I could do <laughs> that's about all I could do now with this colony so unfortunately Unfortunately, that is the way it goes. But uh, we still got our terraforming project, and it would have been, it would have been a very, very successful. I was all, I was up to about 40 colonists or so uh, when the disaster struck. So it would have been, uh, would have been quite the, uh, quite the colony that I had going here. Unfortunately, I don't think there's any, any way that I can sort of recover from this, <laughs> from where I'm at now, except to just sit here and, and let it run at two times mode and see if maybe. Maybe uh, some more colonists will show up or not, um, but that is where we stand. That is where we stand right now. Um, and as far as the series goes, this is pretty much the end of this map. Um, I have already gone through the entire um, the entire program at least once now. Uh, this is my second time through. I still very very much enjoy Soul Zero, and I, I love this game. Uh, quite a bit. I still still playing it even now. Um, but as far as the YouTubes are concerned, uh, this will be the end of the regular series. I may still upload a video or two from Soul Zero, uh, particularly when it actually goes out. Um, you know, full release on Steam and all that stuff. Uh, as new things are added to the game, I may do a, a one-off video as I as I can. But this will be the end of the. Uh, the once a week uh, weekly um, releases of my Soul Zero videos uh, just because I, I have pretty much seen and done all there is to see and do at the moment um, like I said now with the map making stuff and with this being on Steam and all that stuff if I see a map come by I might jump back into Soul Zero for a bit and, and do that map uh, from the community or so on and so forth, or as, as new things are added to the game, if anything new is going to be added, uh, that I will probably jump into that. But uh, for now, this will be uh, episode 61, is this? Uh, yes, episode 61 will be the, uh, the end of the regular series. Uh, and then, as I said, I will jump back into it from time to time. So thank you very much, everyone who has followed uh, all this time and... and uh, I hope you stick around. I've still got the spatials going on, 
And I may have another real-time strategy game that I may dig into that I, I just recently purchased into the early access. So, uh, and obviously I will still occasionally have a Soul Zero video, just not as regularly as I have been. So thanks so much everybody for watching. And uh, I will see you next time.